So welcome back to another episode of Do It Prove It. Today, we're gonna make a spear gun. We actually have a real spear gun. I have a real spear gun here with me today, but we're not gonna use this. I'm gonna make one because we're actually gonna use it in a river. So we're not gonna be using this guy today. I know I'm not sponsored by those guys this is a, a piece of wood it's a very hard wood I can't remember the name of it but I'll show to put the name in the description or right right in this video I can put it you know like right across here um, I kind of already have it drawn out already sorry you guys didn't get to see that but it's just a rough like a rough sketch so I'm just gonna use a use a saw and cut it out and that's just about it so these lines these lines would give us a uh, idea as to how much to remove it would have been nice to use like a plane to get this off but I'm actually gonna be using a machete and for safety reasons I won't be recording this <laughs> but when I'm all finished I can I will show you guys like what this look like but this is really more than enough for what I wanted to do so as we go along we're gonna be adding details so so far we got to this point it involves a lot of and all of that stuff worried about a hole I'll use a chisel and fix that after but that's just about it So there's a lot more work to do on this still. I am actually gonna take out a little bit of section here. But I'm gonna do all of that off camera and a little bit here as well. And clean up inside this hole just a little bit. And we're just about done with this. So we have complete the task so far. I still leave the trigger to put in. I'm gonna do that. I will give you guys a rundown as to what it is. I'm gonna use this to make the the spear or the harpoon, whatever you wanna call it. I will be using this to make it. So I'm just gonna use the hammer, tap this little bit, flatten the end, put a gill in it, pierce a hole through the flattened end, and that would go right across here. So I'll show you guys when it all set up. That is just about it. We still gotta flatten this end and cut a little notch. So when you pull the rubber, you can slap it in. And that is just about it, I think. Most of the work have been completed. I just build this trigger. We're gonna install it, see how it works. And hopefully, 
Hopefully it works good. I think it's gonna work pretty good. I think it's gonna work pretty good. Like I told you, I would show you guys the process of putting this together. So I cut this piece of plastic and this is going to work as a as a riser so there's going to be like a, a little peg or a nail and this is going to it's going to fly This is a more traditional looking spear gun. So we're keeping it traditional. So this is the finished product. You guys would get to see it all crunk and everything when I'm at the river. And yeah, thank you guys for being a part of Do It Prove It and feel free to subscribe.